What's up guys? Uh, today for our life group message, we do things a little different uh, today. Uh, and I'm hoping that we'll, we'll, you guys will start getting to see from some different people after this week. Because uh, you've seen me like three in a row. But I um, wanted to, uh, to share something fun with you guys. Something encouraging a little bit. Uh, you know, I'm recording this actually on Thursday. But on Sundays when you guys will be watching it. On Saturday, which when you're watching this would be yesterday. Anyway. Um, our good friend Cody is getting married. Uh, he's marrying uh, Courtney Kamoff, and I'm doing the wedding, so uh, I'll be down in uh, Paducah for that. But um, you know, I, so I've been thinking a lot about about weddings and about marriage, and uh, and so like to keep it kind of light, but also hopefully encourage you guys a little bit. I wanted to share with you all just a couple of truths from from Scripture, just some some general stuff about marriage and about how marriage is supposed to be a picture uh, of what, sorry, pushing the screen there, uh, a picture of what the, our relationship as the church is supposed to be with Christ, with Jesus. Um, you know, in Ephesians 5, 22 through 33, and I'm not going to read it, but, but that's the, the section of scripture. It talks some about how wives should treat their husbands and how husbands should treat their wives and how the bride, how the wife um, is a reflection of the church and how the groom is a reflection and symbolic of Jesus Christ. And it's all about submission. It's about service. It's about putting the needs of the other before your own and um, how Jesus sacrificed his life for us, the church. And, you know, I've been talking with Cody and Courtney some. We've been talking for the last few weeks, getting ready for their wedding. And, and what I've told them is that they're going to have to really serve each other. And I told Cody, and you all know Cody pretty well. I said, Cody, you're supposed to represent Jesus. And the way you do that is by laying your life down for your wife. It's, it's about loving her and serving her and putting her first. And every time I would share that, I would bring up the fact that Jesus did that for us. And so what I really want to encourage you guys with today, and it's not a long lesson, it's not you know a bunch of stuff you need to do, just I want to encourage you with this, because I think right now we need as much encouragement as we can get. I want, you to, I want to encourage you with this thing, this one truth, that regardless of, of what has happened in your life, regardless of how good or bad or crazy things get, Jesus died for you. Like he sacrificed everything for you. He sacrificed his whole life for you so that you could have a relationship with God. Really, he, he did it so that your life would have hope. That you'd have hope in your life. And so, I really want to encourage you guys with that thought this morning um, that Jesus died for you. He took your sins when he died. And if you place your faith in him and you know him and you trust in him and you follow him, you'll spend forever with him when you die someday. And you'll also get to experience a pretty full, abundant, and exciting life here on earth. And so I just really hope that this finds you guys in a good place. I hope that, that this encourages your heart and your spirit today to know that, that you know our relationship with God, our relationship with Jesus is one of sacrifice. And it's one of love. He sacrificed for us because of his love for us. And in turn, we will sacrifice the things that we want, the selfish things that we want, in order to serve and love him the right way. So I want to encourage you guys with that this morning. I hope that you are watching these videos. I hope that you're you know, participating in our worship services as well. And I really hope I get to see you guys tonight at church. At 7 o'clock, we're going to have our youth event tonight. So 7 to 8 o'clock, it's going to be great. Bring a mask. We need them, but uh, it's going to be fun. I miss you guys so much. I love you all, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.